Guild Mushrooms. Park today is like a really wealthy part of London and around about 2,000 acres of, of woodland and there's about 600 deer so that'd be really cool if we come across any stags or deer at all I'm sure we will but we already did didn't we as we pulled in mm -hmm. some uh, big daddy deer just like chilling on his own in the field so that was quite shocking pretty surprising to see but yeah it was um I'm excited. We, we'll see what we we'll see what we come across. So one thing I've noticed about um, oh my god, there's some mushrooms over there. Look at all these mushrooms. Wow. We have to get these. These. Okay, so I'm by no means a mushroom expert, but we just came across these. This gorgeous family of they're called scally caps apparently. Um, you can see the scally caps look like they've actually had something kind of having a nibble at them. So maybe the deer. I've been um, having a little mushroom dessert at some point. <laughs> but yeah, they've definitely been nibbled. They're really gorgeous. Uh, have this kind of like auburn texture going on. Bloody hell. <laughs> so yeah, London also has parakeets apparently. They got released a couple of years ago and then they just absolutely thrived in London city centre. So that loud bugger you can hear above me is a parakeet. They're very cheeky. But yeah, scally caps, there they are. I actually have a friend who's a mycologist who works at Kew Gardens. Um, yeah, he would just be over the moon at finding something like this. I completely overestimated how warm it would be today, or cold. I'm wearing three layers of thermals right now. I've got my vest on, I've got my polar neck, and this fleece so i'm having to like take a break from my hat like every few minutes because it's just getting too hot guild mushrooms guild mushrooms guild mushrooms guild mushrooms guild mushrooms <laughs> right i'll come and do this thing this is this is the guild mushroom dance guild mushrooms this is our um <laughs> Absolute class A ad in West London, shop for the dinner. So instead of going to Sainsbury's and getting a few chestnut mushrooms, um, you come to uh, Richmond, Richmond Park, Park and get your, your guild mushrooms. A couple of Fresh off the bark, fresh off the rotting tree. A couple of deer sausages on the way out and uh, some organic eggs. What's the app you're using? I'm using the app called Seek, which is basically just like you take a photo Take a photo and then it says that. I mean, it's not as accurate as it would be, obviously, if you were a mycologist, but it does the job for like the basic, the basic like discoveries. I'm wondering whether this is the mushroom that, because it's medicinal, this mushroom. I'm also wondering whether it's the one that they used to um, transport fire all years ago, because there's a certain type of mushroom that they could put actually keep fire going in it as pe like almost it'd be like a portable portable power um what do you call them power bank power bank yeah so one thing i've noticed about parks in london is they're very ferny like very ferny and they're quite flat like compared to a lot of sort of national parks up north um, yeah i don't like how flat they are i mean obviously because I'm in the worst physical shape of my life post COVID, <laughs> I'm appreciating the flat walk, but. Literally sparrow legs. <laughs> we don't need to describe what my legs look like. They do look like a little gone off pigeon, don't I? <laughs> but I think, yeah. I miss the hills. So we're in Isabella Plantation now. Uh, it seems to be like the heart of, it's like Parakeet Central. Um, yeah, there's like 40 acres of woodland in Isabella Plantation. It's got a fence all the way around it, so I doubt it's got any deer in it, but lots of pretty plants. 
Ooh.